Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman, and welcome to three weird rumours about Rob Chapman. <laughs> Starting with number one. Rob Chapman works at Anderton's. Well, I've actually never worked in a guitar store in my entire life. I've always kind of wanted to, um, because when I grew up and I was playing guitar and learning and everything, the people that worked in the guitar stores were these kind of amazing players. They knew everything about the gear. They were the doorway to success. For some reason, I just kind of... I always wanted to hang out in a guitar store because I felt like they would help me to get to where I wanted to be. I don't work in a guitar store, I never have. I go to Anderton's for two days every month and I don't go to the store, I go to the video editing area. Sometimes we go to the store and pick out gear and shoot little bits of videos and stuff and it's really fun. Um, but I shoot videos, I'm a hired gun. I shoot at the videos, it pays your money, it takes your chance. This rumour, I think, is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've heard it three or four times in comments on some of the Chapman Guitars videos, and I, I take it just as a massive compliment. Now, the rumour is Chapman Guitars is owned by Gibson. <laughs> well, although this may be slightly reminiscent of a, a Lester Paul, um, because it's a single cut and, and they kind of invented that world, Gibson does not own Chapman guitars uh, at all, and in fact, just a swift uh, lookage on the internet company's house will, will show you that I own Chapman guitars, and so does Lee Anderton, and so does Matt Hornby, we're all shareholders. Um, but great, I mean, Gibson are a cool company, uh, but I don't really fancy selling my, my family name. Uh, I take it as a huge compliment, and I think it's probably due to the fact that we launched 29 new guitars last year and a website, and everything just kind of took a big hike up in quality and looks great and spangly and shiny colours, and people just go, they're owned by somebody else. They couldn't possibly do that on their own. We kind of did. Weird rumour number three. Rob Chapman dyes his hair. Now, if anyone has ever seen my face up close, they'll notice that if I dyed my hair, I dye my beard as well, or my hair would change colour. And I've got grey hairs, and I'm kind of rocking that, man. I'm really looking forward to being an older dude that's kind of been around and done exciting things and can share his experiences. I'm already kind of an older dude, I'm 42. Yeah, I'm going grey, I'm wearing that badge with honour. It's kind of like when you have a kid, and you, you get a little bit of sick or something on your shoulder, but you really can't be asked to like change your t-shirt. You go out and you rock that. I'm a dad. I got sick on my shoulder. What are you going to say about it? See, I'm going grey sometimes. I find the old hair here and there. I kind of like it. I wear it as a badge of honour. And I can't wait to have a massive, stupid grey and slightly ginger here for some reason, beard. Also, by the way, I kind of feel like, since I'm a Robert, when I get to a certain age and I shave my hair off and I have a massive beard, that's when I earn the Bob moniker. So I'm Rob until I shave my head, and then I'm Bob Chapman. Okay, two more bonus weird rumors about things that I'm involved in. So the first one is the backing vocals on the Door J EPs, and in fact, some of the lead vocals are my wife, Natasia. <laughs> Although she is an incredibly good singer, um, the majority of backing vocals are me, all of the lead vocals are me. Rabia does a touch of backing vocals here and there, but it's mostly me and my 1975 fretless old git vocal. And the last one is Chapman Guitars had to change factory to Indonesia because the Korean factory was burnt down, blew up, bad, or whatever. I've heard all these bizarre rumors. No, we just also have a factory in Indonesia. We have two factories because two is better than one. More is more. Ingve taught us all this. You guys take it easy. I've been chappers. Chappers out.